What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video. I think this is going to be actually a pretty interesting video. As you can see right here, we have the 1977 classic James Bond Lotus S1. And uh, I I'm excited. This car can actually go on top of water. Like You can actually drive this car on water. Now, I do have the GPS set so we can go to the, uh, to the new house. Because we just got offered a new house. I'm going to go buy that house and um, then probably do like a race Turn or two. Right. But what I'm really intrigued here is... What really intrigues me better yet is that I really want to drive this car in water. So we're going to do that. It's going to be super... Alright, those... I, I keep forgetting that you got to drive on the right hand... On the right lane. I, I, I keep forgetting that I'm in the UK. Okay? Okay? Keep forgetting i'm sorry so let me see I, I'm, I'm going to go to the destination here but the first little piece of water that i see you already know what's gonna happen we're gonna go right into it so i'm super super excited now when i did equip this car i was able to change the color and all that cool stuff but i wanted to leave it white just leave the traditional classic color going on um just for nostalgic reasons or whatnot I do have this vehicle available to me thanks to Microsoft that, you know, they obviously hooked me up with the game early. You guys already know that. But, uh, that's the only reason why I have the cars early. I have all the DLC cars. So, this is pretty cool. When I first got this game, my first video was literally going to be about this car because I was so happy about it. But I didn't make that my first video because, I mean, of course, that'd be a silly video to make as the first video. So I made my first video an introduction video, etc, etc. Right. And um, here we are. I see a body of water. Thing is, I don't know if I can go through there. Turn Let's see. Right. Okay, can I go through here? Holy snaps, dude. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Let's try this again. Maybe we have to mod the car. Let's see. Arrow and appearance. So you want to totally change the insides of your car? Here's where you can do that. Okay. Okay. Here it is. Here it fucking is, dude. Holy crap. We had to have the freaking body kit on. If not, we weren't able to go into the water. Wow, I feel like such an idiot. <laughs> This is out of this freaking world. Look at this thing. This is freaking crazy. So you actually have to drive it with this body. This is going to be interesting. Okay. All right. Let's try it out now. See if we can actually go on the water. I mean, I would assume. If not, why else would we look like a damn airplane on wheels? Okay. Water's a little, I mean, not the water, the floor is a little slippery. It's kind of rough to drive. But it's okay. I just want to make it some, some water. A body of water will do me just fine. Dude, this thing feels like it's going to slide off the road. I have to steer it so carefully. There we go. Actually, pretty fast for what it is. 13 miles, not bad. It's gonna be a little bit slower with the body, of course. Okay. I'm gonna get close to the house. We're still we're still on the same destination, which is pretty much or to the house that we're gonna go by. Still the same destination. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. We have a lake here, we have a body of water. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Oh my goodness. We can go right through here. Let me see if there's a dock here. There's actually a dock right over there. Okay, we're going to take that dock. So we're going to drive carefully. Ooh, it feels like my car is getting beat up under, under underneath. Alright, here we go. Okay, let's, let's take the longer dock. Looks a little bit more exciting. Okay, looks slightly more exciting. Alright, here we go. Oh my 
my god. Please work. Oh god! Dude! It actually freaking works! <laughs> oh, wait, what happened? What the f- Why did we drown? What the hell? Wait a minute. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> What the hell just happened? Did we go too deep? Dude, this is crazy, man. Look at this. That is insane. Dude, this is so freaking cool. And it actually goes pretty fast for it being on the water. I mean, look at it. It's 30 miles an hour. It's not too bad. 34. Gonna hit 35. 35 It's not that bad. I guess you drown when you go too too deep in. I don't know, let's find out. Recalculating route. All right, let's see. Yep. Whoa. My dude's about to have a midlife crisis under that car. Come on, first person, dude. Look at this. Holy shit. <laughs> Regular body kit. I wasn't going to use this car for a race, but I guess I will just for the purpose of the video. So we don't, you know, we don't get to use this car just to see how it floats on water and all that stuff. But we can actually use it. So. We're gonna go to our house again for the last time, drive by the house and then do a race. Let me know what you think of the uh <laughs> Let me know what you think of the <laughs> of the body being able to to go on top of water. Like the fact that they added that into this game it's actually pretty absurd. In a good way. In a good way, boys, in a good way. Hey, what are you doing, man? That's illegal, you know? That was almost as illegal as what I'm doing now, which is driving in the opposite side of the road. Yeah, the car controls a lot better without the body kit. Much better. And as you can see, it is a little bit quicker. Body kit, I think it was only allowing us to go like 113 miles an hour. This will probably reach like 135, 140. Maybe. I gotta, I gotta find a straight a straight road to see if it actually reaches that. Probably won't, actually. I see why you guys said do manual. Let's see, hold on. I don't, I'm not sure if it actually goes quicker. I know I was hitting like 120. Yeah, I could reach 120, 125 for sure. It's just the way that the gears are acting up right now. Right, here we go. This is pretty straight. Come on. Only the fourth gear. Damn it. Car sounds like it's about to burn. Remember, this is a 1977 car. So it's not going to go that fast. Here it is, Makasa. You have arrived at your destination. For sale, Lake Lodge, view the house. Oh yes, I will. Hmm. This is pretty. A house by the lake. Very pretty. Look how beautiful this game is, dude. Holy crap. I actually like this. To be honest, I really do. Look at the house. So friggin' nice. Alright, let's go let's go over here and see what's up. Just wanted to go into the entrance room. See the vibes that it gives me. I like the vibes. I, I've always wanted to have a a lake behind my house or an ocean here or something we like go. that. House and grounds with private road access. 
You can sit in the front room and watch the quiet, calm waters. Wait, this is five that million is dollars to help a stranded driver in the middle of the lake again. A five million dollar house, and I could get it free with the VIP. Ah, uh, hell yeah! Not gonna lie, I'm pretty jealous of that view. Jesus! You leave the paperwork to me anyway. Congratulations. Hell yeah, dude! Five million dollar house. Ah, uh, you can set this as your home. Would you like to do this? Yes. Oh my god, that's awesome. Okay, we're gonna use we're gonna use this car. Fuck it, we're just gonna do a race with this car, and then that'll be that. All right. We're gonna use this vehicle for that. I also like the little entryway that we got going on. It's it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, let's see. We're gonna do one race here. Let's go to let's go to this one down here. This is a street race. Exhibition, exhibition. We've done a lot of these, completed them as a matter of fact. This is uh exhibition. Okay, I think we're gonna go to the I don't think we're ready for this yet. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Right by the lake. It's pretty close to where we live, so shouldn't be too bad. There we go, guys. go we're gonna do our first race with the with the lotus i'll probably do another like a uh, james bond ed edition like uh the aston martin or whatever maybe on a later video for uh forza horizon 4 or whatnot sorry i don't know if you guys have ever done this but i feel like sometimes driving like not like okay not like that driving realistically in games is actually fun it's it's something that's kind of boring, but especially if you if you don't have like your license yet and you're playing one of these games, you can pretty much oh shit you can pretty much sorry I think I'm missing a <laughs> you can pretty much just pretend like you're actually driving a real car and go you know, go like the speed limit like maybe like 40 50 55 70 depending on the highway you know stop on every single red light make a right turn things like that I used to do that a lot back in the games like Grand Theft Auto or Midnight Club all those racing games when I was a kid it's pretty fun okay so solo hey Gonzalez let's take a look at Horizon Blueprint okay this is something I let our old festival boss play around with in Australia but they're not here so I need to see if we have any fresh blueprinting talent blueprint lets you choose where and how and how fast but first cars Every blueprint needs a car theme. These are curated by the techs in the auto show to keep things competitive and interesting. If nothing takes your fancy, you can even create your own. Okay. 1970s, 007, anything goes. Oh, okay. So can we actually... Yeah, I could do uh, retro supercars, 1970s collection. Whatever, I don't care. 1970s. Last few touches. Then we can get your blueprint named and published. Actually, wait. I want to change. Hold on. Let's go for double. Since we're doing a 007 car. James Bond edition. Ooh, look at all these fucking cars, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Event setting season. Current weather. Custom. Current weather. Late afternoon. Clear. Time progression. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Congratulations. Your first blueprint event. And the honor of being the first driver to run it goes to you. Show them how it's done. Okay. So did we really just do that? Lakeside print. Hmm. Custom events. Events created by members of the community. Compete in this event. Okay. This is set it up. All right, cool. So this is pretty much like so you can compete with your friends or or whatnot. Okay, let's just do it. Let's do it. I guess we got to race with with a with a muscle car for this. All right. This will be easy peasy. Here we go. My little charger. Clean 
one start, no scratches, okay. I'm sure I wish it would have let me use the uh, Lotus. That sucks. Oh well. It's kind of cool that you can make these races and then just do it with your friends or by yourself or whatever. As long as it helps you towards progression, it's all that matters. there. Ah, oh, shit. 56%. This is actually longer than I thought it was going to be. Skills, man, that burnout skill right there. Psh, fucking Tokyo Drift. There we go, boys. Almost, 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 almost. Ah. Damn. God damn it, this race is long as shit. We're almost at the end, though. Ultimate clean racing. Look at that, you see, not even one excessive crash. There hasn't been ultimate damage done, like in the past. See, in the past, it had just been a long time since I would raced any, any cars in a video game, but now, I got my hands a little bit warmed up. Now, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. I really don't care about the stats. Just show me the money. 7-4. 17,000 total. You balance 274,000. I can't believe the house we bought is worth $5 million. But we got it for free. That's insane. What do we got? A Ford wagon, dude. <laughs> Just get out of... Turn around. Alright, here we go, guys. So. One more Turn stunt race. Left. Events. Let's do it. We're gonna do it with the Lotus. We couldn't race with the Lotus. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do the stun race. The stun event. With the Dude, what's up with these freaking cars, man? You guys are dangerous. Here we go. That race was cool and all, but I didn't like that I had to use a car that I used in the beginning of the game. Hope to see more supercar racing. Actually, probably the next episode, I'll probably be doing like street racing or something. I know a lot of people like, like to watch street racing. I'll probably do that next. We'll see. Mm. Let's go. Please tell me you have another event for me, please. Next chapter. Good to have you back. Now, this next stunt is going to require skill. Delicacy and uh, inertia. This stun is going to be with I'll a Lamborghini. Stun vehicle now, so you can get the hang of it. Just don't put too many scratches on it, yeah. We want it nice and shiny for the shoot when we get there. All these stunts have been um, with different cars, so oh, it's kind of silly of me to think that they're going to let me use my beautiful Lotus. You know? Look at this. Let me turn off the fucking music. I don't know why it's still saved. Alright. This 
fucking Lamborghini, bro. So beautiful. Oh, goodness gracious. The Lamborghini looking nice. Oh, this shit is so fast, dude. In 400 yards, turn left. Oh, my goodness. Turn left. Oh, my goodness. Drive so damn good. Why is the music still playing? Do I have streamer mode on or what? What the hell is going on here? It is on. Okay. This car is... I honestly, I wish I owned... I owned, owned one of these in real life. This would be like a dream driving one of these shits. This is fucking insane. My goodness. Ooh, In damn, I almost did yards, it. Turn right. Turn right. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. In 200 oh. yards, turn left. Oh, this feels so good. Turn left. God damn. Shit drive so fucking good. I may not be displaying good uh, driving here, but let me tell you, it feels really good in my finger right now. The steering just feels amazing. Shit. In 400 yards, turn left. Turn left. Dude, this car is insane. Imagine if there was like a real life game like a Grand Theft Auto, but the car is looking this nice. I'm sorry, like these cars just look really freaking nice. Let's get crazy with it. Yards, turn left, turn left. Ooh. Right, this Shit. is the place. This is a tricky one. A jump across a river, loads of rocks. Focus, get the car to speed. Okay, forget about the river. Forget about the rocks. You just worry about your speed and the ramp. I'd say you'd need at least 100 miles per hour to reach the far side. Okay. When car jumps go wrong, they hurt. Trust me. But we've stiffened the suspension and there's a solid five point in there. We've done all we can for you. Best of luck, kid. Best of luck, kid? That's all you got? Is that all you got for me? Let's do it. Scene 67. Waterfall <laughs> jump. Action! Fast and flat and level, kid. You can do this. And cut! You all right, kid? Of course you're all right. Why wouldn't you be all right? That was, Wasn't worried about you for a second. That was nasty. That was fucking insane, bro. That was fucking awesome. That was fucking awesome, dude. Dude, that was so cool. Holy crap. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. That was so fun. Yeah, those stun events are super fun. Yep, we're going to do another super spin. Unfortunately, we couldn't race with the Lotus. But... We did what it was meant to do, and that is drive on the water. So we're good. Stunt driver level four has been unlocked. Quick chat action. We'll probably do that on the next episode. Okay. Come on. I don't, I, oh, I don't get a super wheel spin. Okay. Number of podiums. Eight. Dude, the, this game has some cool shit going on. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it. Unfortunately, we could have used a little Lotus. But um, honestly, I'm just happy because we, we were able to use it for what we needed it. 
I was just pretty much uh, drive on water and whatnot, and then just do the other events, just like we normally do it. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves today. And um, let me know what you think about this 1977 Lotus S1. Was it dope or nope? Start a conversation in the comments below. And thank you for watching. Catch you later.